Hello everyone. This is Adish. I am a grade 10 student from Mumbai. So today's problem is yet another palindrome making problem. The difficulty level of this problem is simple because it only uses sorting and strings, the basics of strings and loops in order to get the full solution. So in this problem we are basically given a string A consisting of n lowercase Latin letters where n is even and chef wants to sort that string by swapping indices i and i plus 2 for any i belonging to 1 comma n minus 2 in that range any i can be selected and you can swap the index i with the index two places ahead we want to determine whether chef can sort the string by performing the, these swap operations and in order to do this, uh, we can use any number of swap operations. So uh, we only need to print yes or no, depending on whether or not it is possible for chef to sort to to uh, convert the string into a palindromic string. And since n is up to thousand and n is even, and uh, there are up to two hundred test cases, the problem actually is disguising it into an O of n log n or O of n sol solution, because O of n square will give ten raised to six into 200 which will not work in 0.5 seconds that's why actually an o of n solution is required and in order to get an o of n solution or an o of n log n solution we need uh, a linear time approach with possibly sorting or yeah uh, in order to like basically pass within the time limit uh, let's consider how we can uh, even approach this problem where these swaps are a bit weird they are not a uh, direct swaps so the key idea is to first look at these swap operations and what exactly does it mean to swap the string uh, to swap the characters ai and ai plus two so when we are swapping the characters ai and ai plus two it's important to realize that only these two characters are getting affected the remaining characters are remaining the same uh, and they remain intact and notice that i and i plus 2 uh, and uh, if you consider the values of i uh, this basically means that you can swap 1 and 3 you can swap 2 and 4 you can swap 3 and 5 you can swap 4 and 6 you can swap 5 and 7 you can swap 6 and 8 and when you're swapping characters you can do this any number of times as you want that's why let's consider which all characters can get swapped with each other this is a common idea to think about whenever you're considering swapping problems so whenever you're considering uh, problems where you need to swap characters in order to get a string in this case the string should be palindromic but in general if you want to swap characters in this manner to get another string what what do you need to think about so you need to think about which all characters can get swapped with each other and these are the pairs of characters so let's say that it's a 10 length string 10 is even so 10 is fine let's say it's a 10 length string and we know that these characters can get swapped what this basically implies is that the characters 1 and 3 can get swapped 3 and 5 can get swapped 5 and 7 can get swapped and 7 and 9 can get swapped so if you consider all the characters which can get swapped you will realize that 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9 is one group of elements which can get swapped with each other. You can swap the elements 1 and 9 for example by performing some sort of operations where you swap 1 with 3 then this character 1 with 5 then 1 with 7 then 1 with 9 and you can move 9 all the way up till 1 and basically you can ensure that uh, any, any, any pairs of elements so even something like 3 and 7 or even something like 5 and 9 or 5 and 1 or 3 and 9 all of those can get swapped and you should pause the video and uh, figure out a method of swapping any two characters within this first group and there's a second group so these are the two groups group 1 and the second group is all the remaining characters all the remaining positions which are the even length e even positions so all these positions from the second group and these two groups are disjoint and you can swap elements only within these two groups so the general idea for these type of swapping problems 
is to identify groups of elements such that you can swap elements within this group but you cannot swap elements from two different groups so the key idea is to realize that all the odd indices from the first group and all the even indices from the second group and this basically means that you should consider the odd and even indices separately and realize that you need to swap them separately and then merge them together because within within themselves so within themselves they can be swapped in any way you want but they cannot be swapped across groups so you cannot swap one and four ever and again you should pause the video and and check whether it's possible to swap an odd index with an even index whether it's possible to swap any element from group one with any element from group two and you will realize that the answer is no you cannot swap elements across groups but you can swap elements within groups and this is the first key observation required in this problem the second observation basically builds on the first observation and it uses the fact that we need to arrange the elements in group 1 in some format arrange in groups 2 in some format and combine them together to form a palindrome so in this case we in the second observation or in the second step for the solution we will be focusing on the palindrome part of this problem we have successfully figured out how to handle the swap operations and we know that we can swap in group 1 group 2 now let's consider how exactly we can swap so that we can form the palindromes so the second step in the solution depends on the fact that if you consider these to be the indices and if you use the first observation then it's clear that the first character should be equal to the 10th character so s of 1 should be equal to s of 10 the second character should be equal to the ninth character s of 2 should be equal to s of 9 third character should be equal to the seventh character fourth character uh, and the fourth character i mean third character should be equal to the eighth character the fourth character should be equal to the seventh character and the fifth character should be equal to the sixth character and basically this means that the odd indices should be equal to the even indices in some order so it's clear that we are if you consider another value of n where n is uh, any even integer basically any even number you will always realize that you're pairing up an odd number with an even number and all the odd numbers and all the even numbers gets used up and this is why you're basically dividing them into two groups such that the two groups have to be equal to each other so basically the odd indices should be equal to the even indices in some order so the odd indices and even indices should be equal they should be anagrams of each other if you know what an anagram is if you don't know what an anagram is it basically means that you should be able to arrange the odd indices and the even indices in some order such that they are equal and an easy way to check this is to basically just sort the odd numbers sort the uh, numbers which appear at odd indices and sort the numbers which appear in even indices and check whether they are equal so that's actually the full solution where you just sort the numbers which appear in odd positions and the numbers which appear in even positions and check whether they are equal because we know that once we do that the construction will be to put the first number and the tenth number together so that they are equal then the second and the n minus uh, one number then third and n minus two and so on all the way up till n over two and n over two plus one uh, so in this manner we can always make sure that everything gets paired up and uh, we are basically ensuring that all the even indices are equal to the odd indices one, once they are sorted and hence the two groups will become equal to each other and the string will be a palindrome once you rearrange them in this order so now i'll just show you the code which implements the same idea of basically uh, storing the odd indices and the even indices and checking whether they're equal so for each test case i take in the value of n i take in the string s i take in the string a and i, I store the string a and b where a represents the odd indices so a is the string 
of odd in dashes of characters at odd in dashes and b is the string of characters at even in dashes and you will basically add the you will basically uh, concatenate you will form a and b by starting from an even in dashes so this is actually even in dashes and these are the odd in dashes so start from 0 and increment by 2 repeatedly and here you start from 1 and increment by 2 repeatedly and you are storing all the, the two sets of characters and check whether the odd in dashes and even in dashes contain the same set of characters so if they do contain the same set of characters you'll print yes otherwise you'll print no and you can verify that this code gets accepted so i hope you like this problem and my solution if you have any doubts in the solution do leave them in the comments down below and if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up thank you